The Chicago Literary Club has been one of the city's most important cultural institutions for 150 years now. It's a space for men and women who love reading, research, and writing to come together and discuss topics of their choosing. And joining us now with more is president of the Chicago Literary Club and our favorite retired WGN anchor, Robert <laughs> Jordan. So good to see you. Thank you. You are looking so yes. good. Thank so you good. very much. Well, I've been, a, I've been a member for 150 years. Oh, <laughs> wow. You don't even look a day over a, a year. <laughs> right, right. This it's is great awesome. To see is you. this how you're keeping yourself? Uh, it's your one mind? of many things. You yeah. know, chasing Karen's children, mm -hmm. uh, the grandchildren. That's yes. a lot of fun too. Yes. But uh, this is one, and I'm the president this year. And since um, this is our sesquicentennial anniversary, it means that most of our papers have been about Chicago items, things, histories, mm -hmm. biographies, and it's just been so much fun. For folks who are not familiar with the organization, tell us how it works. You're saying it's every Monday night you guys get together. Right. Okay. From Our season is from uh, October through May. And every Monday night we get together at the Cliff Dwellers Club, which is right across from uh, the Art Institute. Ooh. And someone presents a paper. We have drinks at 5.30, dinner at 6.30, and then someone, one of the members who has already signed up, will he or she will present a paper on an subject of their choice. Usually runs around 40 minutes uh, for them to present this paper. And historically, these papers have been so important to the history of Chicago. Talk about some of the papers that have been presented. We've had some wonderful papers, and uh, your viewers can go see them at our website, uh, which is www.shylit. Dot org, okay. C H I L I T dot org, and all of our papers are there for the public to see. Uh -huh. And uh, Daniel Burnham, for instance, the architect, came, who was a member of our club, presented to us before he presented uh, to the city council. And so, uh, we his had plan for Chicago. His plan for the well, yeah for the uh, layout of the great Chicago plan. And so we've had senators, Supreme Court justices, mm. um, lots of prominent people who have been there. But there are others who are not professional writers who just enjoy writing yeah. who have decided to become members. Do you have archival books of all of these papers, too? I mean, it must yes. be amazing to go back through some of those. Oh, there are. There are some amazing papers. And we are uh, collaborating with the Newberry Library mm -hmm. and Chicago History Society, so the papers are there more prominent papers you can find online right. at our website and see what they're like. So are the papers all lofty ideas like a plan for Chicago or how do we solve homelessness or mm -hmm. or what what are the subjects bring? Not necessarily. Okay. The paper I presented this year was entitled When a Clown Retires He Leaves Big Shoes to Fill. <laughs> oh. And it was on Bozo. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's not just on Bozo. So I elaborated on the whole issue of clowns and looked at clowns in opera like Pagliacci or Shakespeare and court jesters. Yeah. And so you talk about the whole, you might use that as a basis for elaborating on that subject. Okay. But there's still a lot to learn about uh, Bozo and I talked about his history here and how uh, there have been the various Bozos from Bob Bell all the way to uh, George Demas and, uh, you know, today. Is it all nonfiction or are there some fiction in there too? Fictional papers can be there as well. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote a paper on um, pickpocketing oh. that uh, was based on a historical fact. But so, yeah, most of them, though, are many are biographies. But, uh, you know, the, it depends on what strikes your fancy and how you, because we have Poetry Night as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So 150 years, how do you celebrate? Right. Well, this year, as I said, we've had uh, members who have presented papers on the, from the Great Chicago Fire to artwork that uh, is significant hanging in the White House today to all kinds of subjects. Um, uh, the first women to join clubs and make themselves known. Yolanda Dean, one of our members, uh, was the first woman at many different uh, heretofore men's clubs. And uh, so we have some really significant women, and we're looking to 
invigorate our membership with younger people. That's why we'd like to have you guys come oh. join us. Oh. <laughs> I like that he's called younger. I do too. I think I like that he thinks I'm smart enough to join the Chicago Literary Club. We need some young members. Yes. yes. You know, when you look in churches and synagogues today, most people are older. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so uh, our club is no different. So we need this. Uh, we think the sweet spot's around 50 when the kids are kind of moving out yeah. and and folks are beginning to have more time to sit down and, and write something right. like a paper. Oh, so cool. There you go. That Thanks, sounds Bob. Great. This is Bob, fantastic. Thanks so much. Again, it's shylit.org is where you get more information. Sign up. You have all the information sure. there, criteria, how you... How if, you if they want to join. And let's talk to this genius yes. man. Oh, it's right. so good to see it you. It's great Bob. to see you guys. I enjoy the show. This Thank is you. terrific. Thank you. Oh, we didn't even pay him to say <laughs> that. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Bob. Bob.